From Dune by Frank Herbert The Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mahayim sat in a tapestried chair watching Paul approach. From the folds of her gown, she lifted a green metal cube about 15 centimetres on a side. She turned it, and Paul saw that one side was open, black and oddly frightening. Put your right hand in the box, she said. Fear shot through Paul. He started to back away, but the old woman said, Is this how you obey your mother? He looked up into bird-bright eyes. Slowly, feeling the compulsions and unable to inhibit them, Paul put his hand into the box. He felt first a sense of cold as the blackness closed around his hand, then slick metal against his fingers and a prickling as though his hand were asleep. A predatory look filled the old woman's features. She lifted her right hand away from the box and poised the hand close to the side of Paul's neck. He saw a glint of metal there and started to turn toward it. Stop! She snapped. He swung his attention back to her face. I hold at your neck the Gomjabar, she said. The Gomjabar, the high-handed enemy. It's a needle with a drop of poison on its tip. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't pull away or you'll feel that poison. Paul tried to swallow in a dry throat. He could not take his attention from the seamed old face, the glistening eyes, the pale gums around silvery metal teeth that flashed as she spoke. A duke's son must know about poisons, she said. It's the way of our times, eh? Here's a new one for you, the Gomjabar. It kills only animals. Pride overcame Paul's fear. You dare suggest a duke's son is an animal? He demanded. Let us say I suggest you may be human, she said. Steady, I warn you not to try jerking away. I am old, but my hand can drive this needle into your neck before you escape me. Paul took a deep breath to still his trembling. If I call out, there'll be servants on you in seconds and you'll die. He recalled the litany against fear as his mother had taught him, out of the Bene Gesserit rite. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. He felt calmness return, said, Get on with it, old woman. Old woman, she snapped. You've courage, and that can't be denied. Well, we shall see. She bent close, lowered her voice almost to a whisper. You will feel pain in this hand within the box. Pain. But withdraw the hand and I touch your neck with my gomja bar. The death so swift it's like the fall of the headsman's axe. Withdraw your hand and the gomja bar takes you. Understand? What's in the box? Paul again asked. Pain.